causes of hypogonadism um, uh, could be chronic liver disease, COPD, uh, sleep apnea, renal disease, uh, use of different drugs, like I said before, uh, uh, glucocorticoids, opiates, ketoconazole, which is an antifungal, and uh, anabolic steroids can actually uh, shut down testosterone production. HIV, hypertension, high, uh, lipids, infertility, obesity, sleep apnea, uh, arthritis, um, diabetes, and, and vegetarian adenomas. I'll, I'll explain later on what that means. Uh, genetic mutations, and there is there are some genetic mutations that can um, affect development, sexual development in, in boys. Uh, as I said before, environmental factors, metabolic syndrome, illnesses, aging, other hormone deficiencies, thyroid is one of them, They're very connected to, to uh, testosterone production. Nutrient deficiencies, uh, as I said before, lifestyle uh, uh, issues, medications. And uh, this is actually a slide um, that I got from SpectroCell, a uh, very good company in Houston that uh, tests uh, uh, micronutrient levels in uh, lymphocytes, um, not in actual blood, but in lymphocytes, which is supposed to be more, um, more precise. But, these are, I'm not saying, this graph doesn't say that adding these vitamins actually improves um, testosterone blood levels. It, it, it may do so, or may, they may do so only if you have a deficiency, but um, zinc is definitely good data, magnesium, um, vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin D, vitamin B6, and folate. Uh, but if you do supplement um, and you have no deficiencies, you, you will not see any improvements in testosterone. That's as simple as that. And the benefits of uh, testosterone therapy uh, is probably, um, probably now evident from all the other slides that I've covered. Um, improved cognitive uh, function, mood, libido, uh, stamina, believe it or not, improved cardiovascular health. Actually, men with low testosterone tend to die of heart disease um, uh, faster than men with normal testosterone. There's obviously uh, controversial um, um, data right now that has been um, discussed a lot in the past three years on the use of higher doses and, um, and poorly managed uh, testosterone um, therapy um, that, can, that has been associated with increased cardiovascular risk. Improving improvements in body composition, uh, glucose control, fertility. Uh, when you improve testosterone, you can improve fertility to a certain point, and then you may have a decrease in fertility um, um, depending on, on different factors. Exercise uh, functional capacity, in, capacity improves, and um, there's some studies, not too many, very small uh, data set that may suggest that improved longevity and survival. So uh, how long does it take to see benefits? And that's uh, another one of those questions that we get a lot on Excel mail. Uh, and obviously it's, it's hard to predict. Everybody's different, uh, depends on your age, depends on you know, comorbidities, if you have diabetes, if you have high blood pressure, uh, you know, if you're 29 compared to a 65 year old, obviously there are different, different conditions and different factors that are involved in the efficacy of testosterone. But, um, and you see here, um, the different colors, the blue um, lines say maximum benefits are reached. And on the bottom, you see um, uh, weeks. And the, the lar darker green is the upper and the lower, the lighter green is the lower um, side of the, of the, the lower uh, duration of the, when benefits are reached, I'm sorry. So inflammation um, decreases, uh, testosterone replacement decreases inflammation very uh, fast within three to 12 weeks. Um, blood sugar control, uh, anywhere from 12 weeks on the, on the lower uh, side to 52 weeks. Bone mineral density takes a long time because obviously bone is a lot uh, harder to build. It's a very slow process. Body composition up to 52 weeks, depressive uh, mood. Um, it could be um, anywhere from as fast as three weeks to um, you know, as low as 30, 30 weeks. Quality of life could be also, you can see benefits within a few weeks. And that's usually what happens. Um, men tend to feel really well, really good the first uh, month. And then and it, it tends to um, plateau 
and they get very discouraged um, after a while. But in, in most men, uh, like me, <laughs> that have been using it forever, we, we wake up to the fact that it's actually improving our quality of life. If we ever run out of testosterone, we stop or we stop for any reason out of our control. That's when we really are, um, you know, awakened to the fact that our quality of life, um, we have reached a new normal that we forget about. Erections and ejaculations, um, that is difficult to assess. Um, some men do experience better erections, um, especially morning, morning time um, erections, and some men don't. So it also depends on age and different factors that we really don't know all the factors involved. And sexual interests are probably, is probably the factor that improves the fastest and the most obvious. Within three to six weeks, um, there's more interest in sex or more attraction to potential sexual partners. There's more flair, <laughs> um, you know, uh, interest in general to approach or, or, or proceed to, to have sex. Um, or masturbate. Um, that's one of the first symptoms. If that's not improved, there's definitely something going on that your doctor needs to look at.